Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today what I'm going to be trying to do is a challenge slash tutorial, okay? So, kind of a weird idea, but a lot of people, even though I have many Blender tutorials, uh, they're just kind of scared to take that step, scared to hop on Blender and actually give it a go and learn the program. So what I'm going to try to do today is build trees in Roblox using Roblox parts, okay? I don't know if it's going to go good. I don't know if it's gonna go bad, but I'm honestly just hoping for the best. So, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start off with a blocky pine tree, because that will definitely be the easiest. I'm gonna go and have my movements on point five, and uh, I don't really think uh, it needs to be, you know, a tutorial tutorial, because most people know how to use Roblox Studio, all right? So, I'm gonna start with like, I don't know, I want it to still be like kinda cool, so let me go like, like this. And then maybe like, oh gosh, how am I going to do this? Because I want it to be like, not a simple, simple block tree. Let me see, guys. All right, I'm going to go like this. Five. All right, go go like, like, because we can go over a little bit and then switch to like 10. Boom. And then negative 15. And kind of come back up and then five. Okay. So, something like this, alright? Listen, guys, just listen. You gotta stick it out with me, alright? Uh, these guys, uh, this top one is probably a bit excessive, actually. Let me go ahead and go to our parts. Boom. And, uh, we're gonna turn this guy brown. Perfect. Just like that, okay? Now, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna click Control g to group that, and we're gonna name this Trunk. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make these square leaves. So, it's literally gonna be another square, and uh, just make it, like, you know, a nice square. It's It's gotta be what it's gotta be. I'm gonna scale it all up at the same time, maybe a little flatter, uh, and that might be a little... Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that to start it off. We're gonna make this a bright green, because that's kind of the color I like to use. And, uh, guys, I genuinely, I don't know if it's gonna be great or not, but we're really going for it here, okay? So, we're gonna center this up, just putting the arrow in the center. We could copy and paste the location, but I don't think I really wanna do that. So, gonna bring this guy up. This is obviously too big, so we're gonna hold shift and scale it down. Uh, that should be alright. Now, let's grab this guy, put it over here, and maybe up a little bit more. I wanna kind of see the start of the curve of the trunk. And then I'm gonna just curve this like so. Control D, which is gonna duplicate it. And we're gonna still be moving on this axis. And then I'm gonna hold shift. Maybe I shouldn't hold shift because I want the same thickness. So I'm gonna hold control, scale in this way, and then control and scale in this way. All right. And then I'm gonna just rinse and repeat that process going up and around and honestly hoping for the best. Alright guys, so this is uh this is our kind of our pine tree. Alright, it's definitely not, you know, perfect or anywhere exactly close to it, but for not having blender, I mean I think it's kinda cute, I guess, in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this guy down a bit and then scale this guy up a bit. And uh there we go. Now now it'll give it a little bit more of a pizzazz. And we should probably straighten those out just a hair as well. So let's do it like that and then maybe bring them up a little bit to kind of like like we want more centered something more like that and we're just going to scale this down to kind of match in with it right there so here's our pine tree guys all right it's uh it's unique we could definitely go with that now i'm going to try to build a normal tree and i'm not talking about the tree where people just go like this uh we'll go twice there we go and then you get your nice sphere bro and you put that bad boy uh, boom here's another tree all right I I'm, I'm doing three trees guys and this is definitely gonna be one of them just for the uh the classy roblox look all right oh gosh it's not even centered let me go ahead and just copy the position and then paste the position so we can get a very very scented tree all right it's beautiful look at it guys you cannot even hate on me bro all right so let's get this guy color it brown and then color this one bright green or we'll go like forest green i feel like the part should be forest green kind of stick out from the base plate a little bit if you know what i mean 
there we go now last but not least a normal tree so let's shift uh or i mean sorry control d that studio to blender bow i'd be getting confused now what i want to do is start here and then i'm going to go back to my archimedes plugin and go to a 10 and go uh maybe like 20 20 30 all right 30 it is and then negative 10 all right uh but just smaller for that one so i think i think i have a good idea here okay guys listen you just gotta you just gotta work with me for a quick second wow you can make a cactus in studio like this too now that i'm thinking about it but you just gotta give me a second okay guys i'm really giving it my all here all right i'll give it my wholesome all uh we're gonna grab these two parts uh control d and then control l to shift our axis right here flip those in a 180 of course you're gonna be able to get a lot better trees within blender guys i'm gonna scale this down a bit and move it up to the top something like this all right guys i think we're looking fantastic grab that we're looking good uh and now we just need our blocks for the leaves so let's go ahead bring in a block right here i could use wedges in fact to make the like if i wanted to put a super amount of time and effort into it could definitely use wedges um and that could probably give us a good little look of course not my style at all but i also have to kind of practice for the challenge that's coming up very soon uh exodus is going to be challenging me to build a map with his blocky asset pack so get ready for that guys that's going to be definitely interesting because i i don't really use a blocky stuff it's kind of weird to me all right but let's grieve this up shift just bring it down a little bit adding a bit of variation just anything we can to kind of liven things up you definitely uh you'd be better in blender i'm just being honest with you okay but i do understand i definitely understand some people are not a big fan of blender uh or just like like kind of scared to like start and go with it which is 100 percent understandable i was definitely right there with you uh we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy uh, we should probably bring him out some this is the top and then we're gonna duplicate it drag it in a little bit and we'll put like a couple variations on here so like this guy oh gosh this guy can go towards the back and a little higher and we can have one that's like over here in the front and a tad lower and just bring these guys in a little bit so they're not as big and then we're gonna bring this one to like this color because why not and this one to this color because hey why not but guys here's my three trees in studio if you're scared to learn blender and you need some trees for your game this is about what you're limited to of course there's a lot better studio builders than i am so you might even be able to do better than this but here's my little uh, challenge slash tutorial guys hopefully you did enjoy have an amazing day later